Good morning, Rattlers. Today is Tuesday, February 12th. Let's go to Ms. Monson with the pledge. Good morning, Rattlers. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Thank you, Ms. Monson. Now to Amber with some announcements. There are still a few SAT prep classes available. Sign up with Mrs. Robinson or Ms. Stevenson in room 603. And don't forget, you can still sign up to take the March 9th SAT test. Attention AP students. Have you paid your invoice for AP testing? Make sure you check your email link to my AP to view and pay your invoice by the February 21st deadline. College of the Desert will be here for registration tomorrow and February or tomorrow February 13th during third period. Please sign up with your counselor if you would like to attend. You have one day left to send friends and babe candies from GSA and find them in the quad at lunch. They'll deliver the, can the goodies on Valentine's Day. Don't forget tomorrow we have an awards assembly in the theater. Seniors, go second period. Juniors, third period. Sophomores, fourth period. And freshmen will go fifth period. And now to our featured video for Black History Month. Serena Williams is a renowned professional tennis player born on September 26, 1981 in Saginaw, Michigan to Richard Williams and Orisine Price. At the age of four, Williams took up tennis along with his sister Venus, and her father homeschooled them to focus on tennis more. Later, they joined a tennis academy in Florida. It wasn't until 1995 that Serena became a professional tennis player. In just two years, starting from the rank 304, she quickly made her way up to the top 100. However, by mid-2003, her winning streak came to an end due to a knee injury. The next several years after, she struggled to remain motivated and her performance worsened. Serena made her comeback in 2007 as she overcame her physical and emotional pressure, and after losing her number on rank, she promptly regained her spot in 2009. Serena's achievements go beyond the court. She's involved with many charitable organizations, as well as activism to bring about social change. Serena is a woman who, after breaking down, comes striking back up to the top. With her numerous victories throughout her career and her off-court achievements, she has become a positive influence as a role model. That's all for now, Rattlers. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Amber. Now to our new segment, Newsy with Alyssa. Welcome to Newsy, where I talk about world news and stuff. Savage was recently deported by ICE back to England for overstaying his visa. 24-year-old William Brown from Texas died after his vape pen exploded. Hawaii wants to raise their minimum smoking age to 100. There are at least 10 dead and 30 injured in a Paris building fire. The show Modern Family is ending after 11 seasons. The Pentagon recently deployed over 3,000 more troops to the U.S.-Mexico border. Five people were confirmed dead in a plane crash in Yorba Linda. The Pope publicly admitted that Catholic priests and bishops sexually abused nuns. The Grammys happened and they cut off Drake's mic. Washington declared a state of emergency as Snowmageddon hit Seattle. The Venezuelan Colombian bridge was blocked to keep out humanitarian aid from entering Venezuela. Serial killer Bruce MacArthur has received a life sentence. Gucci had an issue an apology after receiving backlash from a sweater that appeared to resemble blackface. Michelle Carter, a teen who encouraged her boyfriend to kill himself, has received 2.5 years in prison. That's it for this week on Newsy. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Alyssa. Now to a quick sports update. Hey, Rattlers, it's Jemmy here with Sports for the Week. Let's get right to the action. Boys Soccer won their game this past Saturday on the road against Azusa by a score of 1 0. Leo Jimenez scored the sole goal, scoring, subbing in and scoring off a rebound. They play against Pacific High School at home this Wednesday. Make sure to go check them out. Boys basketball lost their game last Friday on the road against Covina High School by a score of 77-57. Congratulations to our boys for balling out this past season. Also, a big shout out to Edward Paloma on qualifying for the Masters meet this weekend in Cerritos. 
make sure to congratulate him when you see him. That's all for this week, Rattlers. See y'all next time. Back to you in the studio. Thank you. And don't forget to share your footage to get a shout out in the next broadcast. Now to this week's installment of Let's Get Rattled with Jair. What's up, guys? It's Jair again with the Let's Get Rattled. And today's riddle is, I'm tall when I'm young. I'm short when I'm old. What am I? A candle. Alrighty, guys, introduce yourselves. I'm uh, Trent. I'm Nayeli. And what club are you guys from? Uh, student management team. Huh? Student management team, daddy. Oh, alrighty. Um, the question for today is, I'm young when I'm tall, I'm short when I'm old. What am I? A tree. No. A candle? There you go, you get a oh. candle. You got it. <laughs> Alright guys, introduce yourselves. My name is Jonathan. My name is Romero. What club are you guys from? Race. And today's question is, I'm short when I'm old, I'm young when I'm tall. What am I? Repeat it. I'm short when I'm old, I'm young when I'm tall. What am I? You don't know? Nope. Guess. A tree? No. Good guess, but no. I'm short when I'm old. I'm tall when I'm young? Yes. Plant? No. Think of a household item. I don't know. You guys don't know it? I don't know. It's a candle. You know candles, when you use them, they get short. When they're young, before you use them, they're tall. Unused. Damn. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, your names? Annalise. Madison. Today's question is, I'm tall when I'm young, I'm short when I'm old. What am I? I told y'all. I'm going to let you guys guess, and then I'll give you guys a hint. I don't know. Wait, what is it? I'm tall when I'm young, I'm short when I'm old? Yeah. Is it... Is it like a flower? No. Oh. <laughs> well, because you think like when... Oh. What's the hint? What is it? It's a household item. It's a candle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, Jair. Now let's see what's cracking lacking with the tea girls. Hello, Rattlers, and welcome back to the team, where we give big shout-outs to people and events on campus. I'm Zoe. I'm Melody. And I'm Brianna. And we'll be spilling all the hottest tea. Since it's almost Valentine's Day, we'd like to shout out all the teacher couples on campus. The Robinsons, the Newhouses, the Coleys, and the Matthews. Hey Melody, do you think you're going to get a Valentine's Day gram? I don't get one. I'm going to be so angry. I'm <laughs> Valentine's Day is the day where you find out if you're the side or the bang. Who are you guys spending Valentine's Day with? Do you guys realize how much money is spent on Valentine's Day every year? $20.7 billion. Approximately 131 million Valentine's cards are exchanged. $4.4 billion will be spent on diamonds, silver, and gold. Can you say a waste of money? I'm with you on that one because I do not want to receive any of those cheesy gifts. Do you guys know what you can do with all that money? You know who needs some love? Like, what's in the box, boys? If you guys have any ideas to see them back on the Rattler Report, DM me on Twitter at Zoe McMenus. Looks like we're all out of tea. Make sure to DM us on our Twitter at RMHS News to get a feature in the next broadcast. Catch us next time where we serve some more hot tea. Bye, Rattlers! Thanks, girls. Now to the Tweet of the Week with Jerry. Hey, guys. Welcome to this week's Tweet of the Week. First tweet comes from Post Malone, and it says, When the world ends and the economy collapses, Nail clippers would be the ultimate bartering item. Posty can mean a lot of things by this. I mean, if you take apart nail clippers, what do you have? A weapon of mass destruction. This next tweet comes from Jit. In light of 21 Savage's recent deportation back to the UK, he says, hashtag free 21 with it's a knife emoji. Now, for those of you who don't know, 21 Savage, artist, has been deported to the UK, tragically. That's all for this week's Tweet of the Week. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Jared. That's all for now, Rallers. Remember, if you want to be featured in our next broadcast, DM us or email us. You can also contact Miss Elias. 
Yeah, go follow us uh, on Twitter at RMHS News. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Rally Report, for all our future broadcasts. I'm William. And I'm Sebastian. And, and we're, we're signing, signing off. off.